everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my October book haul so in the month of October I really did try my hardest to continue on with my book buying ban that I had been in in the month of September however there was a ton of new releases that came out in September that I had been really anticipating in like pretty much the entire year so I decided to put my book buying ban on hold for now and I did pick up quite a few of those new releases that I had been anticipating and I have a total of four books to talk about today which is pretty good considering that I normally buy between seven and ten books per month so four is really really good I also have a few bookish goodies that I'm gonna be talking about at the end of the video so stay tuned for that with all that being said let's just write it in and get started so the first book I have to talk about today was my most anticipated release of this year and that is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Mass this is the sixth book in the Throne of Glass series if you guys have been following my channel for a while now you would know I absolutely love anything that Sarah J Mass has put out in the past couple of years I read Throne of Glass last year I read the first book five books in like a week and a half I absolutely love this series I do have a whole series review of those first five books so I will link that down below if you guys would like to hear more of my thoughts but this is the newest installment and this is a parallel book to Empire of Storms which is the fifth book in the series and this follows Kale who is not present in Empire of Storms because he is in a different part of the world that the main storyline takes place in and this is following him during Empire of Storms and what he is going through. This has a ton of disability re representation. Kale is in a wheelchair due to something that happened at the end of Queen of Shadows, the fourth book in the series. And I have heard nothing but fantastic things about this book since it was released. Again, I was really nervous about the disability re representation in this book before it came out. But like I said, it has been getting nothing but great reviews and I'm so, so excited to check it out. I'm currently rereading the Throne of Glass series. So hopefully I'll get to this before the end of the year. The next book that I have to talk about today is the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of October, and that is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This is a YA fantasy novel that follows our main character Isabel, who lives in a world where the fae... Uh, the fairies cannot do any sort of crafting. They rely on humans to do those tasks for them. And in this world, Isabel, our main character, she is a painter and she is very well loved for her portraits. She does them, of course, for the fairy clients. One day she gets her for first royal client, who is the Prince of the Autumn Court, and she accidentally puts human sorrow in his eyes and that causes a huge uproar and she kind of has to stand trial for what she did. This is very similar to the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Matz, one of my favorite series of all time. So I think if you guys are a fan of that series, you would probably really like this book. It is similar, but it's different in so many ways. I have already read this book and you will hear more of my thoughts in my October wrap up. I was a fan of it, but I wasn't like the biggest fan of it. And again, I'll talk more about it in my wrap up. But I think if you are a fan of the Akatar trilogy, like I said, you would really, really like it. The next one was one that I wasn't originally going to pick up, but I decided since, again, this is another one that has been getting nothing but great reviews since it re was released, and that is Trolls All the Way Down by John Green. This is John Green's newest release. This is his first release since the release of The Fault in Our Stars, which came out, I believe, in 2012. I love John Green's writing. I have read three of his books. I have read The Fault in Our Stars, Paper Towns, and Looking for Alaska in the past love them all so I am really excited to dive into this one this I believe is ex extremely different than anything he has put out in the past I believe this is actually a mystery novel um, I know you're not really supposed to go into it not knowing anything and that's exactly how I'm going into it really excited to dive in I'm definitely going to pick this up sometime next month and the last book I bought this month was kind of a weird purchase and I mostly bought this because of who the author is this is pretty much for my entire family because we all love who this author is and this book is called the tb12 method how to achieve a lifetime sustained peak performance and this is by tom brady tom brady is the quarterback of the new england patriots football team which is my hometown football team and i love tom brady he is one of my absolute icons in life i think he is a phenomenal athlete and this book is telling us kind of how he achieves such great performance into his 40s which is incredible and Again, I kind of bought this on a whim just because it's Tom Brady, but I am excited to see what he has to say about how he lives his life, how his lifestyle method keeps him in such phenomenal shape into his 40s. It's 
I can't wait to dive in. It's definitely going to be a very interesting read. So those are all the books that I purchased this month. Now I'm going to get into the bookish goodies I bought this month. So the first two things I bought this month are actually candles. The first one is a bookish candle. The other one is a fandom candle. This first one is the bookish one and this is the candle and this one is called Rice Sand and this is from A Court of Candles. And this is scented in Jasmine, cit Citrus, and Sea Breeze. And I absolutely love this candle. This is what it looks like. I think this fan candle smells amazing. It definitely describes Rye Sand from the Akatar trilogy perfectly. Oh my gosh, if you guys could smell this through the camera, I think you guys would love it as well. Definitely one of my new favorite purchases of this year. And I will have this candle as well as the other candle I'm going to mention in a second link down below if you guys would like to check it out. And the other candle that I bought this month is one that I had had my eye on for a while now and I figured I'll just go ahead and purchase this. And this one is from Flickering Fandoms and this one is called Evil Queen. And this is themed after Once Upon a Time, my favorite TV show. As you guys know, my channel name is Evil Queen Books and once I was inspired by one of the characters in Once Upon a Time. So I picked this up right when I saw it on the website and I'm thinking this is just going to go perfect with my whole channel vibe. So this is what it looks like and this is scented as fresh juicy poison apple and that's exactly what it smells like. It smells so so good. This is what the candle itself looks like. I've been lighting this every Friday when Once Upon a Time is on because I love it and I would recommend this if you like the scent of that kind of apple. It's definitely perfect for fall or if you're a fan of Once Upon a Time, you would absolutely love this. And again, I'll have this link down below if you guys would like to check it out. And the last bookish goodie that I bought this month wasn't actually bookish related, but it is a Funko Pop. And I mentioned Funko Pops quite a bit on my channel, so I figured I would include it in this haul. This one is actually one that my best friend got me for my birthday. And that is this one. And this is Princess Leia from the new Star Wars movie which comes out in December. This is again Princess Leia. I'm a huge Star Wars fan and my best friend knew that and she actually has a matching one of Luke Skywalker from the new movie. So may Carrie Fisher rest in peace. I can't, still can't believe she's gone. It's been almost a year and it's absolutely crazy. So that's what she looks like. I absolutely love her. And I think I'm going to do an updated Funko Pop collection in the next few months, probably at the beginning of the year. Um, so definitely excited to have her as part of my collection. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Like I said, I'll have the candles linked down below if you guys would like to check that out, as well as my Throne of Glass series review. Those will be linked in the description box below, as well as all my social media links. So if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog, they're all linked down below. So if, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!